Will that can of meat on your shelf dazzle your dinner guests? Or send them straight to the toilet? From chicken to cheeseburgers, just because you can can pretty much anything doesn't mean you should. Cans of chicken breast contain small pieces of preserved pre-cooked poultry. They've been heated to a point where bacteria is killed off, and then they're sealed for long-term freshness. So as long as the can remains undamaged, you don't need to worry about it going bad. Canned chicken breast is uniquely worth buying for both its taste and nutritional value. It maintains many of the benefits of fresh chicken, such as being high in protein and containing nutrients such as vitamin B12, zinc, iron, and copper. One downside, though, is that the taste is subpar compared to freshly cooked chicken, but it makes up for that in terms of its versatility, as you can use it for chicken soup, chicken salad sandwiches, macaroni salad, and so much more. This is one canned meat that's definitely worth buying. Whatever you do, don't buy canned whole chicken. It's unlike any other canned meat, especially in terms of its exorbitant cost. As of November 2022, it's over $10 for a can of Sweet Sioux Chicken at Foodland. And to make matters worse, you won't get very much meat per can anyway. Most of what's actually contained in each can is just broth, not meat. And if you do buy a canned whole chicken, you'll encounter something grotesque inside an oversized, mysterious vessel. Each can contains one entire pre-cooked chicken that's preserved and ready to eat. While this may sound convenient, the smell of a canned whole chicken is something nobody should ever have to encounter. Because it's preserved in broth to help prevent it from spoiling, each can smells like expired chicken soup. The visuals are even worse. One Redditor referenced Sweet Sue and declared, Sue might be sweet, but she makes hideous chicken. We don't even want to repeat some of the images that a canned whole chicken has been compared to by other folks online. Just know that what comes out of the can is no longer really whole. It's more of a slimy mess. Ow. <laughs> You can't go wrong with mackerel. This tinned fish usually comes in shallow rectangular cans that contain a few fillets. Like other types of canned fish, it's beloved for its nutritional value. It's rich in omega-3s, protein, iron, potassium, magnesium, vitamin B12, and more. Additionally, it contains lower mercury levels than other types of fish. Canned mackerel is also a good buy because it's extremely versatile. You can use it in soup recipes such as mackerel corn chowder or pasta like mackerel linguine. Then get ready for a rich, salty, savory flavor to take these dishes to the next level. You probably don't see too many people buying canned beef these days, though you may be tempted to get some yourself out of nostalgia, but we'd recommend against that. You're much better off sticking to fresh corned beef. For one thing, canned corned beef is a type of processed meat, which has been linked to health risks such as cancer. To make matters worse, it's made with red meat, which can also harm your health. Then when you factor in the preservatives needed to keep this meat in a can long term, things get even worse. Also, it's high in sodium and saturated fat. Not only is canned corned beef not the best for your diet, it also simply doesn't taste or look as good as the real thing. Even if you have a nostalgic craving for corned beef recipes around St. Patrick's Day, you should go out and buy the real fresh thing. We guarantee it will not taste worse than the canned version. I guarantee it. Sardines are another popular type of tinned fish. You might lump them in with anchovies, but they're larger and meatier, though they're still on the petite side. This makes sardines ideal for snacking or adding to small dishes such as toast. They're also useful for obtaining nutrients such as omega-3s, calcium, vitamin D, and vitamin B12. Their nutritional profile is also said to help improve brain health and they're low in mercury, making them safe for pregnant people to consume. You can readily use sardines in recipes like spaghetti and salad. You can also eat them as a simple topper for crackers. In any application, they'll add salt, savoriness, and depth of flavor. Of course, sardines also impart a fishy taste that's not enjoyed by everybody. But if you're a fishy fiend, you already know you'll find it extremely satisfying. A fish, a fish, a fishy, oh! Canned Vienna sausages originated in America around the early 1900s. Back then, we didn't know as much as we do now about what was good for us. But now, it's the 21st century, and you don't need to be buying canned Vienna sausages anymore. They're made of a mixture of processed beef, chicken, and pork. The non-canned variety can be flavorful, but the canned version is typically more rubbery in texture. Dog walking company Rover doesn't even recommend feeding canned Vienna sausages to your pooch because of its high levels of fat, sodium, and questionable ingredients. If it's not acceptable for Rover, that's not a good sign. Along with the icky texture and questionable nutritional profile, Vienna sausages are also known for being flavorless. Simply put, there's just no good reason to buy this canned meat. 
Tuna is yet another healthful canned fish option, as it adds nutrients like vitamin D, selenium, and iodine to your diet. It's also high in protein but low in calories. Unfortunately, though, it's higher in mercury than other types of canned fish, making it the type of thing to only eat occasionally. But when you do eat it, you'll have some variety to choose from. Shoppers can opt for water-packed tuna, which is lower in calories and fat, or oil-packed tuna, which is richer and moister. Simply put, tuna is one of the most popular canned meats on the market. And it's not hard to see why, as it can be utilized in the likes of casserole, tuna salad, tuna melts, and various types of pasta. And of course, you can also add it to crackers for a light snack. Another easy application is adding it to boxed macaroni and cheese for a nutrient-rich upgrade to a pantry pasta. You might be shocked to learn that we don't recommend buying Spam. It's a rather beloved canned protein, after all. From Spam musubi to Spam fried rice, the shelf-stable meat is used in plenty of memorable recipes. That may be due to its attractive appearance. It has a lively, pinkish-red color, not unlike real ham. Its texture is firmer than other canned meats, helping it to resemble real protein. Also, many people appreciate Spam's nostalgic flavor. As one Amazon purchaser declared, same taste now as back in 1960. Yummy. However, there are better canned meat options available for your tasting pleasure. For one thing, eating Spam isn't going to do your body any favors, as it's high in sodium and fat, and one can contains over 1,000 calories. That's roughly half the recommended calorie intake for a normal adult woman. True, you probably won't eat an entire can per day, but Spam's shelf life is greatly shortened after opening the can, thereby eliminating the purpose of having long-lasting canned meat in the first place. At the same time, Spam has little to offer in terms of nutritional benefits. To make matters even worse, it contains potentially harmful preservatives like sodium nitrate. If you want to try Spam, try ordering it at a restaurant. There just simply isn't enough reason to justify buying an entire can for your home. Tinned salmon has plenty of obvious appeal, as it's long been considered a superfood. While that term isn't exactly scientific, it still points to the fact that nutrient-rich salmon is considered a useful addition to almost everyone's diet. Canned salmon comes with all those benefits and more. It's even better than fresh salmon insofar as you don't have to cook it. You can even eat it straight out of the can. Because cooking salmon is notoriously finicky, this is especially good news for home chefs. Good news, everyone! Purchasing canned salmon is a good idea because it's nutritious, tasty, and versatile. It's high in protein, omega-3s, and B vitamins. Simply put, adding canned salmon to your go-to recipes will yield delicious results. You can use it on salmon patties, salmon salad, or fish soup. If you like fishy flavors, you absolutely won't regret purchasing canned salmon. A canned cheeseburger is one particular preserved meat that you've probably never heard of. If that's indeed the case, then consider yourself lucky. This strange product consists of one entire cheeseburger shoved into a single can. Each can contains all the components of a normal burger. There's a bun, meat, cheese, pickles, ketchup, and mustard. Of course, as this is a canned product, each of those ingredients is paired with salt and additional preservatives needed to keep that cheeseburger alive. This product was designed for backpackers and other extreme campers who need long-lasting, compact food. But if you're just eating at home, there are much better ways to get your nourishment. And buying this item is highly unlikely to satisfy your craving for a cheeseburger, even when you're outdoors. In 2008, The Takeout tested one of these products and recommended that no one else should ever do the same. The tasters noted that the burger meat appeared gray and covered in film. And on Reddit, people who encountered videos of this canned meat had less than positive things to say about its appearance. As one person put it, it looks like someone else has already eaten it. Luckily, you won't have to try too hard to avoid buying this, as canned cheeseburgers are hard to come by nowadays. Hamburger! You've probably eaten anchovies without even realizing it. This canned fish is utilized in famous recipes like Caesar salad dressing and Worcestershire sauce. They add a powerful kick of umami that becomes complex when mixed with ingredients like garlic. And anchovies are useful for more than just sauces, as you can also put them on pizza. If you don't want to bite into a whole fish but still want to add some anchovy flavor to a dish, you can even make an anchovy paste or just buy some from the store. Canned anchovies are more than just a flavor-boosting ingredient as they are also plenty healthy. They're low in calories and high in protein, B vitamins, iron, and calcium. Furthermore, most anchovies come packed in oil, which is perfectly acceptable for canned meat of this variety. 
Pork brains used to be an important ingredient in various southern dishes like brains and eggs. That particular meal provided a way for farmers to make use of all parts of the pig in the tradition of whole animal butchery. The ingredients of canned pork brains are relatively simple. In the Rose Pork Brains brand, for example, each can contains brains, milk, water, salt, and sodium nitrate. That all sounds pretty familiar, except for those brains, of course. If you're not a farmer, there's no need to try this. And even if you are a farmer, it's still not a great idea. And even if you're a culinary daredevil who likes to sample weird things or you've eaten brains before and liked them, we still don't recommend the canned version of this meat. As one reviewer warned on Amazon, bought this on a dare, be drunk when you attempt to eat it. But even being intoxicated may not be enough to stomach these brains. No matter how badly you want to impress your friends or your internet following, it simply isn't worth it. We shouldn't have to say anything more, but in case you're still somewhat tempted, we'll leave you with the words of this Redditor. It looked like gray scrambled eggs. In this day where we know about prion diseases, why is anyone still eating brains? Brains!